Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a boost event and a boost image like the one in my ball. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Alright, so we'll be using my package. Alright, here we got an event called boost and a function called boost image. Let's first take a look at the boost image function. So basically, here we give some credit to French Noodles, he's my schoolmate and he's also the API owner. So I just put that in my package. Basically, the function returns a promise string, the output is a URL form of the string so it can use as a message attachment or in the set image set thumbnail function in the message embed. So here, the only parameter we got is URL, which is basically the user avatar URL. Okay, so here's a little example of everything, and probably here we need to fix that as soon as possible. Let's just click on one of them. I don't even remember what is this. Searching better. Okay, nice. Anyways, that's the same. Yep. So now once we saw that, now let's go to the boost event. Here. This event fires whenever someone boosts server returns as gold member. Okay, so the booster is a gold member with all data existing about it. Yes, we got a function called start, client and boost troll ID. So parameters, position 1, 2, everything is nice. You can use boost image to add a nice image to your embed. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put like both. Alright. Uh, so this is the idea of the boost troll. Okay. There is another way actually to do this, but it's for my bot and if this video reached 50 likes, alright, or maybe more, I don't know, you know what, let's say 50 likes, if this video will reach 50 likes, I will show you the other way, which you don't even need a message, uh, you, know, you don't need a roll ID or anything, it's a very, very simple way, but you just need to read a message, so you need a message intent, okay, so that was my way that I use for my own bot. This is another way here in my package that I don't use for my bot. So as I said, just get me 50 likes and I, I will show my bot's way. Alright, so let's start off by doing npm i all tracks and importing it. Okay, let's go to the index. Here we go. Just need to put here const ultra x equal require ultra x. Nice. So now we need to import the booster role here. Okay. Let's just put it anywhere. Let's put it here. Okay. So since we'll be testing actually, so I'll try to use event don't. Uh, sorry, uh, Clyde dot emit. So I'm not sure if that will work, but we can give it a try anyways. Isn't there an automatic boost role? Okay, never mind. Let me just get whatever role here. Okay, this role as example. Okay, so never someone get it because the boost role you cannot add it. Okay, and you cannot remove it. So here you just put the roll ID, and this works per server by the way, if you want to make it per server you just need to save the booster role ID here, that's it. Okay, so you just like save it in Mongo and fetch it with a server, okay. 
So here let's make the event basically I need to go to our events handler Let's create a new one called boost.js And there was the first line Not this Yup here Okay Client Just change here the clients with a capital C or uppercase whatever you want to call it on your channel all right so here I just need to put my channel ID okay so let's say that the right channel is the channel ID here we go so that can also be per server you just need to check for the gold as I said so uh, also this one you can just put it whatever you want but i prefer to put it in the index okay where do i need to go yeah boost so here we just put the booster as uh, our parameter that returns a gold member boosted the server all right so let's give it this a try actually it, it detects by using the role, okay? I guess I didn't change here, client. No, it's, it's fine, yeah, here. Okay, here we go. Okay, but after a little look here, I found out that I can't really have it in a command in a event handler. So let me remove it from here and pass it to my index. All the way down here okay so let me just close my terminal open a new one for no reason let me just type no dot okay thing on twice I'm probably double hosting right now yep I was double hosting let me try then. Here we go. Ping. Ping. There. Pong. Okay, so as I said, it detects if I get the roll. So let me try to get the roll. Mute. Okay, here. Once I got the roll, it actually says that I boosted the server. Okay. Now, let me add the boost image. Okay, here. So the thing here, let me just get on, here we go, by the way everyone was asking me how I did that, alright, so that's a good thing to know now, uh, a lot of people wanted to know it, so yeah, here we go. First, we're getting the boost image using the function here, the thing I mean. So, alt image, and then uh, you just get here uh, let avatar equal the user avatar, but there is no user basically, so it's gonna be booster. It returns the gold member, so booster.user.display avatar URL. Okay, and we want to make it dynamic. Uh, falls okay the boost card is here basically just generating it okay so we can now finally put it into an embed like this nice one or we can just put it here so I'm gonna just put it here normally okay and if you want to put it in the embed just put it in the embed your choice Okay, now let's give it a little try. So come get the boost roll here, that is basically the mute. Press in. Nice, nothing happens. Okay, and that was actually unexpected to the highest point. Okay, now we need to find out. Oh! 
it worked. You just needed some time here. Yep, got it. Nice, now it works. It sends this nice little image and it goes to the server. That goes to the server. If you wonder how mine look like, so that's how mine look like. Okay. So, uh, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it. And ciao.